Hey YouTube, it is Friday the 21st, 22nd, it's the 22nd today. I feel like I need to go outside for a walk. I don't think I've ever felt like this before. I've literally not left the building in like four weeks. It's not technically true. I had to go to the doctor once and I think I got groceries once, but it was like, I went into the car and I drove somewhere and I walked like 20 feet from the cars of the building. That's not like a walk. That's just like, I just got into a car and sat in the car while the car took me places. I wasn't actually moving myself. But I just had this feeling like, I need to move my body, not via a car. I need to like go take a walk. Maybe like, oh, I can go to a park. Let's see if we can make this happen. All right. We're on the road. After a little pit stop, I opened my door in my apartment and then there was an Amazon package outside. But then I just got a bunch of packages yesterday and I'm just thinking to myself, what the fuck, another Amazon package? Ordering from online, like buying online is actually kind of annoying because you end up getting so many cardboard boxes. Taking out the cardboard and recycling, it's a decent amount of effort. Sometimes I think I'm gonna wanna just get in the car and go to a shop instead of buying it online so that I don't have all this packaging and stuff to take care of afterwards. Anyways, it turns out this Amazon box kind it most of the way open i noticed that oh it doesn't have my name on it i actually don't look at the label to see if it's for me if they delivered all the way right outside my apartment door it's gotta be for me looked at it something for my building it's for the building next door across the street i taped it back up and then i just now dropped it off at the door like outside the building for the building it was supposed to be in same apartment unit number completely different building So I have this non-stick pan that I bought when I moved to this new place because my old ones, they were like a couple years old and they were starting to not stick as nicely anymore. A couple of times, eggs kind of sort of stuck a little bit. When I used it this week, two days in a row, the eggs just glued itself hardcore to the thing. And I've been babying this non-stick pan. You're not supposed to put them in the dishwasher. My old ones, they went to the dishwasher like three, four times a week. Every time I used them, they went straight into the dishwasher. They were like cheaper pans and they actually were completely fine. They never like stuck to anything. This one has never been in the dishwasher. I've always hand washed it. It's like one of the few things I hand washed. I even double checked today, like did I fuck up the pan by not using it properly? And I was like on the website looking at like all the directions and everything. And I was like, I'm doing everything it says for me to do on there and like it's just stuck so i'm gonna insert a photo right here what the pan looked like when i tried to do scramble eggs in there and i'm gonna call them out it is from a company called green pan fuck you green pan you're on my shit list i'm not buying your shit anymore probably a warranty on it but like all the hoops that manufacturers make you to go through to like get something on it on warranty it's not worth my time it's like a 40 dollar pan fuck it whatever i just hopped on amazon and i got like a very different pan not a fucking green pan pan and it will come in tomorrow i just whipped up some overnight oats. It tastes pretty good and it takes like very minimal prep. So I just did that and it's in the fridge and I'll eat it over the weekend. And then I had kind of some of the stuff out already. So I thought, oh, I'll also make smoothies. So I did a mango smoothie because I bought a fresh mango and then I couldn't remember why. So I just thought I'd just turn it into a smoothie. I don't think I've ever cut open a mango before. So I wasn't prepared for like how difficult it was to like get all the meat off of the inside. Oh, it's too thick. It actually tastes a little bit more like yogurt <laughs> than mangoes because I put so much yogurt in there. And then I also whipped up another batch of berry smoothie. And that's in the fridge now as well. It is past midnight, so it's technically Saturday now. I have a very riveting Friday night. I did my budget and it's a new year now. So I did do like a whole new file. And then I was also looking up my property taxes because now that I am a homeowner, I need to pay shitloads of money in taxes that I didn't before. My good realtor friend said, oh yeah, you're going to get like tons of tax refunds or whatever when you go do your taxes. But I'm like, I need to get so much more money back to compensate for all the taxes, the property taxes that I'm paying that I'm like, I don't see how I would get that much money back. I did get bored and then ordered some clothes and a pair of shoes. The shoes are going to come next week and I'll show you guys next week probably. But I have a bunch of clothes that are just sitting there because it came and I thought I should do a video of me trying on my new clothes. So I will do that 
eventually. Good morning. It is not morning. It's afternoon now. It's like 1.30. It's raining in LA. It's been drizzling and it's all wet outside. So we haven't had much rain. So it's kind of nice. Kind of reminds me of home, which is Vancouver, where, where it rains all the time from October to like February. It is always raining. If it's not raining, it's cloudy. It's cloudy overcast every single day. So it's just like wet and miserable for like four months. I spent the morning looking for mirrors for my gym and the a uh, new frying pan that I just ordered, it just arrived. So let's open it up. It's kind of like a toy. I'm not that excited, but I'm not not excited about it. Look, in the pandemic, you gotta take what you can get. Ooh, <gasps> look, it's metal. It's got a metal handle. This is the pro version. I don't need anything. Ooh, it feels really nice. You know what this reminds me of on the outside? This like color and feel and texture. It's like what they put in cars now, like fancy cars and they have the metal trim in the car, brushed aluminum or like brushed titanium or something. Is this washer safe? Yeah, this is nice. I'm excited to use this. Again, in the pandemic, you just have to take your shits and giggles where you can get it. And if buying a new frying pan does it for you, oh God, this is so pathetic. So a while ago, sometime last year, my friends got me slightly addicted to peanut butter Oreos. I'm not usually a big fan of regular Oreos, but the peanut butter ones, I just happen to really, really like. I would not usually have this type of food in the house but I got a little hooked on these. My rule for eating them in the house is I can only snack on them when I'm actively working out. I can't just be like sitting on a couch, not having done any exercise and just be eating like 10 of them in front of the TV. Today's workout is finished and I have a craving for pancakes. And this is the perfect time to just have like junk food or something a little less healthy right after you work out. So let's do it. So I've got this new nonstick pan now. I still refuse to believe the old pan. The coating just completely gave away like off the edge of a cliff. I'm gonna try to cook one pancake in each pan at the same time. Oops. Up. Okay, on the new pan is very, very slippery. What about the old one? Oh no, disaster. Stupid old pan. Oh, you guys just missed it. I should have filmed sooner. It's uh, almost 9.30. I was in the shower like 15 minutes ago and the power went out. We've averaged one power outage every month since I moved in. This is probably like the sixth power outage I've had. I just messaged my friend who's a mile away or a little bit less. His power went out too. My old place in LA is halfway between this place and my friend's place now. And I was there for a little over a year and we never had a power outage. I got these lights which plug in to the wall and once it detects that the power is out, they turn on automatically. The very first time I had a power outage, I didn't have any flashlights and none of these things. I was just like watching TV, it's midnight, and it suddenly it went pitch black. And it was a little unnerving to be like in the complete darkness. I was just like showering and then all these little lights came on and I was like, oh yay, cute little power outage. I'm gonna break out my Bluetooth speaker. I started pumping the jams. I was bringing out like my USB battery packs and everything and then the power just came back on. Good morning, it is Sunday and then it's very sunny outside today, which is good. It's raining yesterday and now it's sunny. So it's regular LA weather. You guys like this orange armchair? Five or six years ago, when I first moved in with Charles, I got this exact armchair from Ikea in gray, like a dark gray. And I really like it because it's really wide for an armchair. You can like fit two people onto it or you can like bring your legs up and like still have room to like stretch out. So it's just like a really, really comfy armchair and I like the style of it. My living room is all gray. It's got gray couch. It's got a gray rug. The TV bench is white and gray. So it's all gray. But when I was putting up this artwork, I thought, oh, there's some pops of color and I noticed the orange. It's like, oh, the orange would kind of go well. And I noticed that they had this couch in this bright orange and I was like sold. I would have this pop of color in my living room. I also have this green, 
clean throw. So I've got like a couple pops of color down. It's almost four o'clock and I've killed enough time on my computer doing nothing. But I'm about to work out and before I work out, I have protein powder and also the pre-workout powder in here. So I'll drink that now. And then I've also got a protein berry smoothie. So that's my pre-workout meal. So I haven't been doing nothing, nothing. Uh, my kitchen faucet is slightly broken. It was broken when I bought the place and uh, I mean, knew about it and the seller gave me like a few hundred bucks or something reimbursement. But the handle sometimes falls off and the handle is loose when it's not falling off. So I need to look for a faucet, but they make like a million faucets. So I'm just trying to like pick one that works for my sink. This is riveting stuff. Home ownership is so exciting. All right, we've ordered our weekly pho. This is from a place I've been to before, pre-pandemic, a few times. It's a standard pho place in WeHo that my friend, a good friend goes to. And in person, it was like pretty good. And I just ordered it. It doesn't come with a lime. And the lime was optional. I just thought, oh, if you want extra limes, you can pay extra. But it didn't come with the lime just like standard, which is very annoying. Unusual. Usually you order pho, it comes with the fixings, including a slice of lime. Places that give you a lemon instead of a lime, cut that place out of your life. The combo, every pho place has the house combo where like it's four or five different things in there usually. This has like three things, so it's like a little bit light. Let's see how it tastes. Now, it's not as flavorful as I like. C plus. All right, I just don't know what to do with this hair. All right, it is 10.30 on a Sunday. We're gonna wrap up the vlog here. So you can tell most of the diary style vlogs are gonna be for over the weekend, but during the week, it's just like work. I'm just working during the week. I'm posting a lot more on Instagram stories now. So go subscribe to my Instagram. It is just Joey T. And yeah, subscribe to this channel if you haven't. If you're watching to like this point of this video, you're probably already subscribed. I hope until next time. Bye YouTube. I'm literally two blocks from my house. I guess it's been longer than I thought since I left the house. It feels like I'm experiencing the world for the first time.